a very thin film of oil mu is equal to 1.2 is formed on the surface of water mu is equal to 4 by 3 what is the thickness of oil at the first right fringe for lambda is equal to 480 nanometer here the data given is mu is equal to 1.2 and the wavelength lambda is equal to 480 nanometer into 10 raised to minus 9 meter and the T should be find out the condition for dry fringes we know that in the case of thin film the condition for dry film is 2 mu T cos R is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 here the T should be find out for the first bright fringe that is n should be 1 therefore t is equal to this 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 divided by this 2 mu cos r but here we are considering the normal incidence for normal incidence r is equal to 0 so this equation becomes 2 into 1 plus 1 into this 480 into 10 raised to minus 9 divided by 2 whole divided by 2 into the oil refractor index is 1.2 because the light is reflected from the surface of the oil 2 into 1.2 and this will give 3 plus 1 that is 4 into 3 into 480 into 10 to minus 99 by 2 into 2 into 1.2 this is about 3 into 10 to minus 7 meter that is the thickness of the film is 3 into 10 to minus 7 meter the second problem a soap film 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 centimeter thick is viewed at an angle of 35 degree to the normal find the wavelength of light in the visible spectrum which will be absent from the reflected light so here the thickness t is given as t is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 5 centimeter so we can represent it in meter that is 10 to minus 2 meter 5 into 10 to minus 7 meter then the angle of incidence as i as 35 degree 35 degree we have to find out the lambda in the visible spectrum so here we are using the condition for darkness or condition for destructive interference that is we are finding out the wavelength of light in the visible spectrum which will be absent from the reflected light the, the light will be absent means that uh, light will satisfy the condition for destructive interference so in the case of uh, destructive interference we can write the condition as 2 mu t cos r is equal to n lambda this is the condition for destructive interference and we have to find out the wavelength corresponding to this condition and from that wavelength we can find out whether the light in the visible region or not so here we giving i is equal to 35 degree and hence we can find and also mu is given 1.33 so we can find out r so we know the Snell's law that is sin i by sin r is equal to mu so here we can write this i 35 degree so we can find out this sin r that is sin r is equal to sin i by mu so but we have only the cos m cos r but we know that the sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Or cos square theta is equal to 
1 minus sin square theta or cos theta is equal to root of 1 minus sin square theta. Similarly, the cos r is equal to cos r is equal to root of 1 minus sin square r. Sin square r plus cos square r is equal to 1 or cos square r is equal to 1 minus sin square r or cos r is equal to root of 1 minus sin square r. Here, <coughs> sin r is sin i by mu that is root of 1 minus sin square i by mu square. But the value of mu is 1.33 and the sin is 35 degrees. So the substitute this the substitution will give the cos r as 0 0.90 value of cos r. So we can write this condition, this condition for district interference. That is when n is equal to 1 for the minimum condition. This condition is lambda 1 is equal to 2 into 1.33 into 2 is 5 into 10 is to minus 5, sorry, 10 is to minus 7 into cos r 0 0.90. So this will give us about 120 micrometer. 120 micrometer that is put the n is equal to 1 the corresponding wavelength will be lambda 1 is equal to this 2 into 2 meter cos r similarly when n is equal to 2 when n is equal to 2 this lambda 2 gives lambda 2 is equal to 2 into 1.33 into 5 into 10 is to minus 7 into point Nine zero divided by n two. This is two. This will give six thousand Armstrong. And when n is equal to three, when n is equal to three, lambda three is equal to this two into one point three three into five into ten to minus seven into point nine zero by three. That will give 4000 Armstrong. Then similarly when n is equal to 4. Lambda 4 is equal to 2 into 1.33 into 5 into 10 is to minus 7 into 0 0.90 by 4. That will give 3000 Armstrong. So here we can find out this wavelength. This is 120 micrometer. This is 6000 Armstrong. This is 4000 Armstrong. And this is 3000 Armstrong. So here we can see that only the 6000 Armstrong and the 4000 Armstrong lies in the visible region. Only the 6000 Armstrong and 4000 Armstrong or 600 nanometer and 400 nanometer which lies in the visible spectrum because the range of visible spectrum is 350 nanometer to the 850 nanometer so we can say this 4000 Armstrong and this 6000 Armstrong only lies in the visible spectrum so the two wavelengths which are absent in the visible spectrum so we can find them Then the next problem is a parallel beam of sodium light lambda is equal to 589 nanometer strikes a film of oil floating in water when viewed at an angle of 30 degree from the normal the eighth dark band is seen determine the thickness of the film the refractive index of oil is given as 1.5 so here the condition for dark band we are considering we, can, we know that the condition for dark band is 2 mu t cos r is equal to n lambda but here the angle of incidence is given that is i is given 
30 degree. So we have to find out the R and we have to find out, find out from the R cos R. By finding out cos R, we have to find out the thickness T. So we know the Snell's law that is mu is equal to sin i by sin r. And sin r is equal to the sin i by mu. Or cos r is equal to like the previous problem cos r is equal to root of 1 minus sin square r is equal to root of 1 minus sin square i by mu square and if you substitute the value of mu as 1.5 and i as 30 degree mu as 1.5 and i as 30 degree then it will give root of 1 minus sin square 30 divided by 1.5 the whole square or this will give root of 1 minus 1 by 9 that is it is about 0.9428. This is the value. So if we get cos r, then we can find out the n is already given here. n is 8. 8 the dark band. And lambda is also given. Lambda is 5, 8, 9 into 10 raised to minus 9 meter. And t should be found out. We are also given. So therefore t is equal to n lambda divided by 2 mu cos r that is 8 into 589 into 10 to minus 9 divided by 2 into 1.5 into cos r is 0 0.9428 so this will gives this will gives the value of this will give the value of t as 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter. This is the value. 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 9 meter.